Hey Capricorn, thank you guys for tuning in to your singles love reading. All right, so I'm doing earth signs today and earth signs are going to be kind of the guinea pigs <laughs> for what I'm trying out. Um, I'm trying out uh, when I meditate over the cards, I am specifically asking spirit for new energy for the singles because a lot of people don't like to hear about the past energy because I don't like to hear about the past energy. Okay, some people just want new, new. All right. However, if there is some past energy that comes out, I am going to tell you because spirit is going to tell what he wants to tell, okay? So um, I'm going to be 100% honest, of course, just trying something different to see what comes out. I've done um, Taurus and Virgo so far, and it was, you know, pretty great. This is going to be for Capricorn's um, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You can also check your North Node and your Jupiter. And keep in mind that this won't resonate with every Capricorn. Okay, so, you know, if it doesn't resonate with you, check out one of your other placements. Um, and, yeah, or, you know, check out another uh, reader. Because there's a lot of wonderful readers online on YouTube, okay? Let's get started. All right, so, Spirit, give me the energy. Give me new love energy for Capricorn singles. Spirit, give me new love energy for... Capricorn singles. All right, so we got the Nine of Wands. Okay. Spirit, give me new love energy for Capricorn singles. Okay, so, yeah, so Capricorn, I'm, I'm feeling like this is going to be some past energy for you guys. Okay, so we got the Three of Swords, and we got the Four of Cups. But we'll see, Okay. Spirit, give me the energy for Capricorn singles. We got the Hermit. Spirit, give me the energy, the new love energy for Capricorn singles. Spirit, give me the new love energy for Capricorn singles. Spirit, give me the new love energy for, thank you, Spirit. Okay, whoo. We got the Nine of Swords. Mm hmm. And we got the High Priestess. This kind of looks like um, Taurus's reading. Okay. Ooh, that one just flew out. Ooh. So we got the Queen of Pentacles. All right. Okay. So we got y'all's energy going on. Spirit, give me new love energy for Capricorn singles. Spirit, give me new love energy for Capricorn singles. Spirit, give me new love energy for Capricorn singles. Spirit, give me new love energy for Capricorn singles. Ooh, yeah. Y'all cards are flying out. Oh, so we got the Eight of Wands here. And we got the Knight of Wands. I think someone else, I think uh, Virgo got that too. The Knight of Wands. Some of you guys are dealing with a fire sign for sure. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, so, so far what I see is... Um, You guys, I, I'm seeing a lot of you guys are just kind of to yourselves. You've been kind of just, you just been kind of to yourself. Working on your money. I think you guys are just kind of working on you. A lot of you guys. Some of you guys may have dealt with a heartbreak in the past. You got your heart broken and it caused a lot of um, anguish. And now you're just kind of to yourself yeah okay so we got the emperor we got the ten of swords okay and we got the king of wands okay yeah oh yes some of y'all are definitely dealing with a, a fire sign a leo aries a sagittarius yeah some of y'all definitely dealing with a fire sign okay so I see you guys got options, though. Mm-hmm. Y'all got options. The Ace of Wands. Yeah. Somebody wants to offer y'all something. Somebody wants to start something with you. And with this Eight of Wands here, somebody wants to come in quickly. But I feel like they might see you as un unattainable. With this High Priestess here, this Hermit, this Four of Cups here, you're really... Uh, 
chilling. People people might see you like this emperor here and this king of wands might be watching you. And they kind of see you as unattainable. Mm. When I said you have multiple options, here come the two of swords with the with the blindfold on. So some of you guys might have some options here real soon. Really soon. Or if you don't already, because some of you guys might be dating. But I feel like for most of you, you're not really dating. But you, you're going to have uh, multiple options are going to come in and you're going to have to make a choice. You're going to have people to choose from, Capricorn. Let's just say that. But with this, you, you guys have a lot of like uh, alone energy. But see, with, with the Ten of Swords, people usually get a little bit, you know, on edge about this card but this card can also be the worst is over so you guys might be coming out of this energy you guys in in order to to stop dealing with the the anxiety and the depression and stuff from whatever your last situation was this heartbreak that you had you had to go within so you had to get into this high priestess hermit four of cups mode you had to you had to go within and once, and since you're doing that, uh, other people are seeing that. People are watching Capricorn. People are seeing your glow up. Because now you on this glow up shit right here. Y'all have to excuse these nails. <laughs> now you on this Queen of Pentacles shit. You on your glow up. And people are watching. Some people are going to come in. Some people are going to come in and try to... Uh, I'm dropping cards all over the place. Now, the card I just dropped was the Nine of Wands. And that is, is uh, that could be someone that's territorial, but that's also courage. So somebody's going to have the courage to come in because, yeah, they see you as a star. Yeah, somebody, people are seeing you as a star. You might be getting well known. You got the five of cups. Yes, yeah, somebody, so, okay, yeah, so you you guys do have some, some past energy here. Oh, yeah. Sorry to tell you, Capricorn. Y'all got some past energy here. And one of these options is going to be an X. Yep. Mm-hmm. See, told y'all, spirit, spirit does what they want to do. Spirit, um, this in the Knight of Wands, too, was another giveaway for me because the Knight of Wands is usually someone that's in and out. So this X is probably in and out, probably caused you a bunch of stress and grief. But they see you on your glow up. They see you on your Queen of Pentacles. They see you on this High Priestess. And they want to try to come in and reap the benefits of it. But I feel like you kind of just you kind of just want to explore and, and meet new people. You want something new. You don't want um this past person back. But with this with the Knight of Wands too, see yeah, somebody's coming in. What I tell y'all with this with this Eight of Wands, yeah, somebody's definitely coming in for sure. It could be it could be a new person or it could be your past person, but I feel like for some of you guys, one of these options that I see is somebody from your past. It's, it's somebody that you dealt with before, somebody that broke your heart. Yeah, the tower moment. Now, this could be what happened with with you guys um, before the fallout, before y'all break up, or it, it, them coming back in can cause a tower moment because it might be someone that you're dating right now that you like, and then this person is going to try to come in and cause issues. Because like I said earlier with that Knight of Wands, that could also be um, someone with the Nine of Wands. That could also be someone defending their territory. So somebody might feel like that you're theirs. Somebody feels like you're their wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups. Somebody might think that you're theirs even though that you're not. But in their mind, you, you know, you're still theirs. Might be dealing with a fire sign. <sighs> what I tell you? Didn't I say somebody was coming in? What I tell y'all, somebody on somebody on their boat <laughs> coming in, yeah. Might have been somebody that was juggling you at one point, yeah. And now they want victory, but this could also be juggling. But now, now they want to celebrate with you because they see you on this Queen of Pentacles. They see you glowing up, and now they feel like, okay, no, this Capricorn is mine. Capricorn don't belong to nobody else. But you either have other options or you will have other options. And you're going to have to make a choice. And like I said, I'm only, I'm only seeing what's here. 
on the board. Okay, I'm, on, I'm only saying what's here on the board, Capricorns. I don't tell people what to do. I don't tell people what they need to do. Spirit, give me the energy for Capricorn singles. Do what you want to do. Do what makes you happy. Just use your intuition. Do what makes you happy. If this past person makes you happy, hey, who am I to say not to go back to one, okay? Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Yeah. Definitely make the effort in your love life. And I think a lot of you are. But I also think a lot of you guys are just, a lot of y'all are just chilling. Like, y'all are just really by yourselves and making money. Y'all might be, I feel like some of you guys, even though you're by yourselves, you're still dating. You might be online talking to people. Um, but obviously, you guys aren't really serious with, with anyone. Nor have you even talked about being serious with anyone. But I think all that's that's all that's about to change. So whether it's somebody from the past or whether it's somebody new, that's about to change. Spirit, give me the energy for Capricorn singles. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Okay, so yeah, that could be your past person. I feel like you guys have some unrequited love from the past. And that's what caused this, this Five of Cups energy. I'm just dropping cards. I know it's because of these. I did my got my nails done longer than usual. This Nine of Swords. The Five of Cups and Nine of Swords. You know, the, the Three of Swords, the heartbreak. This is probably what caused the heartbreak. They had unrequited love. You loved them. They weren't loving you back properly. And so they had to go. Period. Like I said, some of them might have been juggling more than one person. You and someone else. And spirit, and spirit gave us past energy anyway. <laughs> I told y'all, even if I ask for it, they gonna, they're going to tell what, what they think we need to know. Okay? So, it is what it is. Okay. All right, Caps. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Yeah, I feel like this is your past person, too. That might be codependent on you. And again, um, this person might be addicted to you, too. Ooh, what I tell you? What did I tell y'all? What did I tell y'all? Deception. Yeah, that and that's from your past person. This is all—all all of the love oracle came from your past person, not even from your new person. But, huh, me? Well, no, the make the effort might be from someone else. But this is entirely up to you, Capricorn. Um, what is gonna work for you and what's not? But you definitely have someone from your past coming in because they see your glow up. All right, so it's just going to be entirely up to you what you decide. Um, so, yeah, if this resonated with you guys, I hope you guys um, hit that like, hit that sub, leave a comment. Um, I always appreciate y'all watching and subscribing. I'm loving that you guys are subscribing as a new YouTuber and stuff like that. You guys are very helpful. And, um, again, thank you guys for watching. And until next time, guys, peace out.